What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about misguided principles. And we're going to kind of get back into the resetting of the channel and a lot of things. Recently, I put up not one, but two videos that were met with these comments. Glendon, everybody's not trying to get rich. And one comment talk about it, I had misguided principles because I was trying to make money. Now, this is where the problem is. And this is one of the reasons that I had to reset the channel. And I kind of went nuts for a minute because I was trying to get rid of these people. In 2009, I started this channel based upon the self storage principles. And the goal was to create a book, to sell the book, to teach people how to make money in the storage auction business. So this channel from day one has been about how to make money. Now, when I got off on the economic tangent, and I'm gonna tell you why I got off of the economic tangent, I think I drew a bunch of people here for entertainment purposes who simply do not want to make more money. And let me go ahead and just say this. If you're a person living in the United States of America and you don't want to make more money, that's fine. That's your life. That's your prerogative. However, <clears throat> what I am finding out, <laughs> what I am finding out is these people are combative because I have stopped making the type of content they want to see. They're a little salty and they'll get a little combative and they'll, they'll say things like I watch your channel here and there every now and then you'll put out a jewel and you know, they're pretty much once again, um, these are not bad people or crazy people. They just don't want to watch the content about creating a business and starting starting a business and making money. They don't want to watch that. That's all fine and good. Here's my problem with them. They won't leave. They keep hanging around, leaving these passive aggressive comments, hoping that I would continue to make that ignorant content. They will not leave. They keep hanging around, keep hanging around, not watching videos, not paying attention. And you know, um, this kind of leads me to why I got away from the economic content. I can watch, there's a couple, they're married. His name is Kevin and his wife's name is Michelle. And at the, when they, they, they both YouTubers, he does YouTube and they both talk about economic content. For a while, Kevin was really leading the way. He, his views were much higher than Michelle's. Then Michelle's just flipped. And Kevin and Michelle, they do economic content talking about the economy and stuff. Uh, the Economic Ninja, I allegedly, Jeremiah Bay. These guys can literally hold up their phone in the video and read content off the internet to their crowd and get hundreds of thousands of views. Hundreds of thousands of views. And at one point, I did kind of go up there because I, I had some videos do 70, 80,000 views, and then it just crashed. And I'm gonna tell you why they crashed. The same group of people who are looking for specific content, they're looking for hand-tailored content. They're looking for something specific to what they want. And these folks are very picky. And I'm not saying they don't have a right to be picky, but they're very choosy. And these people who are subscribed to the channel do not watch the majority of the videos that I'm putting out, which harms the channel. And <clears throat> literally, I've seen white content creator after white content creator, economic lunch, I've seen him literally reading stuff from his phone, and that video got 130,000 views. That doesn't work with this group of people. It just doesn't work with this group of people who are extremely 
peculiar about what they want to watch. And once again, you have a right to be extremely peculiar about what you want to watch. But here's the message to those folks. I am no longer going to be doing the ignorant content. I'm no longer going to be getting in battles with other YouTubers. And th this is something else too. I've literally had, and this is where the passive aggressive comments come in. I literally have these people go through everything I do on YouTube. Uh, this is one of the reasons that I have dismantled some of the training portals, got rid of some things because they go and they look and I actually had this comment during the live stream. If you go back to making these crazy videos, you can sell your $10,000 courses. And I'm just sitting there like, here's the point. There are many people who do not believe you can make a lot of money with online courses. Uh, there are people who are saying that you got to go to these in-person events. And I would say that these people are uneducated and they have no clue to what they're talking about because the online course business, the education business is a growing, it's a growth segment. It's on the verge of becoming a trillion dollar business. So there are a lot of people and I'm about to be aggressive and very defensive. I'm sorry you don't have the talent to make online courses and make money. I am really sorry that you don't have the talent because that's what it's about. Because <clears throat> I want you to think about who I am. It is public knowledge that I am an author. I have several books on Amazon. It is public knowledge that I'm an educator. I've got tens of thousands of students. This is public knowledge. And I got people who, for some reason, do not understand that there's a lot of work going into what I do. There's a lot of work about creating an online course. There's a lot of work about creating YouTube video. There's a lot of work. And these people simply don't want to do the work, but they want the results. And this creates jealousy. I remember I had a conversation with a guy. I was driving my Porsche. It was a nice day, top down, went to the bank and come out. Dude pulls up in a blue Ferrari, very nice car. And we start talking about cars and stuff. And it was a really good, engaging conversation. His name is Harold. And toward the end, he, he started talking about the haters. He's like, and we had a really deep conversation about that because he's like, man, I lost friends because I got this car. I said, man, that happened to me too. And we, we, we started to talk because once again, let me say this to be clear. If you don't want to make more money in your life, that's your prerogative. That's all well and good. That's fine. But I got a question and please answer this question. You don't, you don't want to make more money in line in life. You don't want to build up anything. You don't want to create anything. Once again, that's fine. Why are you watching this channel? That's talking about making more money and building things. That's misguided behavior. And this is one of the things that I feel has happened. I feel that, no, I know it happened. Because I am black, I need to perform like a black person. And I don't. And this is why I, I don't perform like a black person. This is why I had a life that I have. Because I don't perform like a black person. I am a nerd. Years and years ago, you remember the ACT, a test? Because I don't even know if they get that test out anymore. I scored real high on that. <clears throat> Made 1550 on the SAT. I am a nerd. I like reading. I like writing. I like studying topics. I am a nerd. And for the black community as, as whole, we don't like nerds. You that you that smarty heart Negro. You 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 Mr. You Mr. Bojangles. And we're in this battle. We're in this battle of me putting out content that the overwhelming, once again, if you don't want to make more money, you don't want to build a business, that's your life, baby. Do you knock yourself out? But understand where we are on this channel. And 
at one point I adjusted content because my business videos were crashing. Why? These people don't want to build a business. They simply don't want to make any more money. And that's your way you want to go, knock yourself out. But understand that is mission critical to what I'm doing. And literally to see in the comments on the channel that is designed to educate, create, and help people make more money, you're, you misguided principles because you try to make more money. I, I'm just sitting here. This kind of reminds me of the story of Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon is worth something like $50 million, I believe. He may be more than that. And Nick Cannon has 11 kids and everyone's like, he has all those kids. And Nick put out a statement. I wish these people would understand I can have all these kids. He has, cause you know, when I looked at Nick Cannon was having all these kids, Nick Cannon is having all these kids cause he wants to have all these kids and he can afford to have all these kids. And a lot of people don't understand that he should have maybe two or three. You're not Nick Cannon. You don't have Nick Cannon's money. You don't have Nick Cannon's, and you know, it, it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. But to see these comments over and over and over, that's just a few of them. Those are just some recent ones. And I gotta say, since I have revamped the channel and I've gone in a different direction, those comments are down about 90, 92%. They're down because I mean, I used to deal with several of those comments every day. And, you know, I got people who find my Instagram and stuff. It's like, please bring this back. And they want these conversations that have nothing to do with building a business and making more money. I literally have people begging me to go back to that type of content. Begging. And I gotta say, as someone who grew up poor, as someone who grew up knowing what it is to be po poor, knowing what it is to want, not having money, and living in that situation, I want children, I want your children not to grow up like that not to grow up like that, not to be in that situation where they can't get the things that they need plus the things that they want. I don't want your kids growing up like that. And I am bombarded. Well, I can't say I used to be bombarded because like those comments are down like 90, 92%. And I'm here to say the revamp is working. I got a few people who are just kind of holding on, hoping, wishing that I return to that content, like the strong con the strong cocaine videos. And like I said, when I was doing the economic content, there was a there was a window where I was starting to get vi views like Economic Ninja, I allegedly, and some other people. I was starting to get views like that, and that window shut. So here's the thing. If I put out some content and you guys don't support it, guess what's going to happen? I'm no longer going to do that content. You're just not going to do that content because I see so many people who want to get, be part of this YouTube thing. And I've never been a big YouTuber. I've never made a lot of money from YouTube you know, YouTube paying me directly with AdSense. I have never, last year, I made $83,000 across multiple channels. That was the largest amount of money I ever made from AdSense. When my business was crunk, I was making three times that per month. Three times that per month. So, let me explain to you what's gonna happen. I went through the economic revamp lost a lot of people once again if you're not interested in the content you're not interested in the content that's life and now we're starting to grow again and we're starting to get more you know, i have one video pop and it's starting to work and tomorrow will be the second month of the transformation 
Guess what's going to keep happening, people? I'm going to keep the transformation up. I'm going to keep doing what I, because in my heart, this is right for me. This is the right way for me to go. Uh, I have a lot of people who are pissed off that I ended up the men's content. Uh, a lot of men do not have the heart to be the kind of man I was trying to teach them to be. They just don't. They, I mean, rest in peace, Alan. Alan Roger Curry, we had a conversation and we talked about this because so many men are just scared or scared of women, just terrified, scared, scared, scared of women. And I find that to be funny. I find that to be hilarious. And some of the men, when I was sending emails, asked to be taken off the list because they didn't want to make more money. But they wanted to get some trim. They wanted to get some more trim, but they want to make more money. And I have found in my life that making more money, being a certain kind of man, got me more women. And it wasn't like, hey, I make this money. It wasn't like that. It was like, because I'll, I'll tell you a story. Years and years ago, there was this waitress. She was kind of cute. I was going to try to talk to her one day. She wasn't there. And I was like, hey, where's so-and-so go? And he said, we had to get rid of her. I said, oh, really? She's like, yeah. He's like, you know, she was saying all kind of crazy stuff. And she was talking to people, business owners such as yourself. I never actually told this guy I owned the business. Never mentioned it. Never came up in conversations. But because he worked in that establishment, he knew who the people who were business owners and he knew who the people who weren't. And that's what got me these women. It was my manner. It was my personality. And a lot of men do that just, just don't want to do it. Just don't want to do it. And that's fine. You know, in a, in a life, we all have our methodologies and things that we want to do. Things that we don't want to do. However, one of the biggest issues is the the disconnect i literally have folks who are subscribed to this channel who every now and then because a lot of them left a lot of them just like this boy crazy i ain't gonna stay for this and that's fine they got up and left that's what i was trying to do i was trying to run people off and we're we're at the we still have a smaller collection of people who are hanging on who want that dumb ignorant content and I'm just simply not going to do it. I'm just simply not going to do it. And I'm going to tell you why I'm not going to do it. I've been on YouTube since 2009 and I have learned a lot. I've learned a lot. And I know that if I could tap into the right content or the right audience, my channel would blow up. But because these people who are passive aggressive I'm going to stay subscribed to your channel and I ain't going to watch your videos. Huh? How you like me now? That's what I'm dealing with. That's what I'm dealing with. And I got some options. I got some plans. I got some plans. I got some things I'm working on. But once again, if you do not want to start a business, which is your personal right, I go to get that. Why are you here? Why are you watching this channel? Because I've kind of figured out some things that I can do, kind of get back to the economic content. Oh, and another thing, both comments reference Jesus and Gandhi and the slave trade. Let me say something. It is a sad fact that if you're black in America and you did not come from the Caribbean or Africa or South America, you got here because your legacy was rooted in slavery. That's a sad fact. However, Dr. A.G. Gaston, when they were pulling black men off the street and hanging them in trees, became a multimillionaire. So that is proof positive that, yeah, racism exists. There are people who don't like you because you're black. Yeah, but none of that stuff is going to stop you from getting your money. None of it. And that is a hard fundamental truth that a lot of people simply do not want to 
absorb, do not want to deal with, do not want to encapsulate. Because I don't care if racism exists. I'm getting my money. Really don't care. Racism has never stopped me from getting my money. Never. And one of the things that I want to talk about is building out this new thing with the corporate citizen playbook. This course is going to be very different from any other course I've ever done. And I got some really interesting uh, conver- emails this morning talking about because a lot of people want to set up a holding company. And there's going to be some deafer than deaf holding company training because I have not one but two holding companies. And I have been through a lot with that process that I can educate people on. And that's going to be in the course. Because the way that I'm doing this is to get people to start off with the money management segment, which is a free course. Links below. You can go ahead and get it. And we're going to do a lot of training. This is going to be a longer course, much longer course than tip. Because I'm not going to break it up like I did before. And it's just going to be. It's going to take some weeks to get done. And we're getting ready to rock and roll and create and build some corporate citizens. And once again, if you don't want to be here and I'm going to I'm just I'm be straight up with y'all, be straight up with y'all. Uh, there will be new channels that I'm not going to tell this group of people about because What's going to happen is if I, hey, hey guys, I got this new channel. Guess who's going to be the first to run over there? The people who don't want to start a business. They're going to be the first one over there. It's like, man, I'm here. Where one of them ignorant videos, man? Where one, come on, man. Give me one of them ignorant videos. Even though the channel would be about starting businesses and stuff, they would run over there. They'd be the first ones. Subscribe, hit the bell notification button. Be the first ones. And don't watch the videos. <laughs> so like I said I have a lot of stuff that I'm getting ready to work on a lot of stuff that I'm getting ready to build out and this year it is May we're going to be really busy until December with all the new things that we're putting out the things that we're going to put together the things that we're going to do and for those of you who want to build a business for those of you who want to make more money Come on the board. Come on the board because we're getting ready to do some stuff. And as the economy falls into a recession, because there's a chance that we not, we may not hit the recession in 2023. We may hit it in 2024. But that's the time to start a business. That's the time to start your business. During the recession, that's your time to build and grow and get it big and do these things that that is your time. That is your moment. That is the the time that you need to do this. So what I am doing, and the link is going to be below, is everyone that gets into this corporate training right now, you're going to get everything else that I'm going to do the rest of the year. And I figured out, because I've been doing this a while, so I figured out a way to keep track of this, to keep on top of this to actually do this thing the right way and we're going to have fun we're going to laugh we're going to build we're going to create we're going to get that money yes we're going to get that money we're going to build we're going to create we're going to get that money and i cannot wait until we start building out these corporate citizens who have incomes of two hundred fifty thousand dollars from one business or multiple businesses. And once we begin that corporate citizen life, I can't wait because the revamped is working. It is working. And I have people who are with me on that programming. I have people who are part of it. I have people who are signed up for the money course, signed up for the productivity course, signed up for the the corporate citizen playbook. So the revamp is working. And I'm gonna keep revamping. And I'm gonna start a new YouTube channel and I'm gonna do other stuff. And no, I cannot tell you, 
I cannot send you a message on the email list. You wanna know why? Cause the same people who are not interested in building the business are on the email list. They watch everything I do. They watch everything I do. They're watching, they're watching, but they're not paying attention. They're not paying attention. So once again, go below, get in the corporate toolbox playbook. Because right now, if you sign up, I'm giving a, a generous discount because I'm building it out. But you get the money course, which is done. You get the productivity course, which is done. And the economic, the corporate citizen playbook. I don't know when that's going to be done. I just started on it today. I've already got some sections done because this is one of the things I've learned. When you're building a course, one of the worst things to do is sit there all day and work on it. Well, for me, it's worse. It, it works better when I devote an hour or two a day, get some content going, because this is the thing, and this is what the productivity course is about. If I do an hour or two a day over 30 days, that's a huge course. And it didn't kill me to build, and my energy is correct for the presentations and the trainings, and it just works out much better. Just works out much, much better. So we got a lot of stuff that's going on. We got a lot of training that's getting ready to happen. We have a lot of things that we're going to discuss and we have a lot of things to build. And I can already tell you, the next month, this is going to be May and June. And pretty much I'll take maybe a two or three day break and then I'll start on the next course. And the next course is going to be how to make money with a small YouTube channel. I've been making money from a small YouTube channel since 2009. I have made six to seven figures with small YouTube channel. I don't have videos that go viral. I don't get a lot of like there, there's a certain way you have to do it. And I'm going to train you guys how to do it. So for you who are interested, the links are below. Go ahead and get that massive discount. Go ahead and prepare yourself because what's going to happen and I can already see it the money course was free the productivity course had a lot of people buy that I'm going to have a lot of people who are going to buy the corporate citizen playbook I'm going to have a lot of people who are going to buy the YouTube course and what's going to happen is you want to get in now because this is going to save you money because once I get up to the YouTube course I'm just going to raise the price so if you don't want to pay that money, because there, there are people who are listening to what I'm saying right now, and they're going to wait, and it's like, they're going to get the YouTube course, and the YouTube course is going to be more expensive than if they got in the course right now. So links are below. Go ahead and get that, and I will see you guys in the next one, including my people who don't want to make more money, who don't want to start a business, folks who just want to live. <laughs>